All right, y'all, it's your boy Afro Yonko here to hit you with the Yamin know I mean? on top of the Yamin know I mean? with a little bit of the Yamin know I mean? mixed in, you know what I mean? It's perplexing, isn't it? If you saw my last two videos, you know we're discussing Sifu and its aspects and its gameplay. And if you haven't seen them, go check out them. You really aren't getting consistent news or updates about Sifu, and our relationship with Soul Clap sort of resembles Harry and Dumbledore's relationship in Order of the Phoenix. Professor. I've decided to break down the info we do have from these articles and at least a couple more vids. And hopefully by the time these vids are over, we will have new info or gameplay for it. another vid. We've discussed the plot of the story and what different things influence the creators of this game. How the pendant brings you back to life, how you get older, how you're after five assassins who eliminated your fam. But the more I read the articles we do have, I picture some of these features a little differently than I did originally. First, when I told y'all this was my goal when I'm playing Sifu, and also what I pictured when they said they were inspired by Jackie Chan movies. Now I'm picturing more of this kind of a Jackie Chan scene. <laughs> Or this kind. <laughs> they also had statements in the articles about Sifu talking about customization for the main character. Now that can mean a lot of things. Is it like the customization in Cyberpunk where you can customize everything from clothes to piercings to tattoos to hopefully not genitals? Or is it like SSX Tricky, where you just kind of switch the outfit on the main character? I mean, either would be fine. I'm leaning more towards SSX Tricky or Sleeping Dogs. Now, in some of these articles, they also mention the main character's dojo and how it was inspired by what a traditional, authentic kung fu dojo would look like. And in my last vid, I was discussing whether or not there could or could not be some kind of training facility, if you will. Or you can increase your attributes or skills. I mean, at the very least, we know it's probably going to be the place where you add to the main character's moves or move set in a way that probably resembles Absolver's features. Or it may not. But either way, it's nice to know that my conjecture on that aspect isn't like. Two. Oh, that barely grazed the net. Air ball. It's possible that it could resemble Assassin's Creed or Ghost of Tsushima, where you can upgrade your character at any time, anywhere. But knowing that he has a dojo, it's possible that if you want to improve your move set, you might have to go back to the dojo every time. That'd be an interesting feature. I don't think I'd hate it if it was done correctly. In the articles, they've also put emphasis on positioning yourself correctly and using the environment and makeshift weapons to take out your enemies, which probably explains the scene in the trailer where the main character threw a pipe at the enemy's head. Or the scene in my favorite vid where the main character just kicks the stool at the enemy and then proceeds to do the kung fu version of a curb stomp to finish him off. They even make it a point to say that players can push enemies downstairs or over ledges, which means that aside from the obvious, like not having your back to the stairs, defenestration will also be a part of this game. Someone. Probably, which is cool with me because it just so happens to be a top three favorite way of mine for taking out an enemy. Next to air assassinations and, and SPR kills. Fuck out of here, bro. It's not personal. Like, I really do love all of you, but I, I have to kill you. I'm sorry. What? Are you kidding me right now? Don't let me see you right now on dog stone. On dogs, don't let I'm quitting. I'm not playing the game no more. Ben, don't be dumb. <laughs> A field day, bro. I'm dropping 50 on you both. John! What? what? Oh, that. That one didn't. Are you kidding me right now? I'm having a field day on you, boy! Stop playing with me! Ben got 30 feet today. <laughs> you know what? Take the back, Jerry. I'm gonna Bro, yeah, yeah. I, I, I respect it. You need some redemption here. <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The is right up there. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Yeah. But pertaining to the story, I have a lot of questions. I mean, when you come back older, do the assassins also get older? Do they get stronger? How many shades of gray is this revenge story? Are there still other people we care about that may also get older when we get older? Is the only price to pay to exact revenge time? Basically, is this going to be slow class version of The Last of Us Part 2? with a twist and kung fu of course point is i got mad questions but i know it's not a question and that's whether or not you should hit the subscribe button and whether or not you should hit the like button because the answer to that is a resounding yes hopefully we can get some new news and some new gameplay soon maybe some answers to some of these questions but for right now i'm just catch y'all in the next video all right peace <laughs>